Are you, are you yeah, I'm taking it out in the... The thing was, I was in my air conditioner, so I came outside and the lens started fogging up. So now the joint ruined. Like, all the shots... Like, it's already fogging up right now. Yo boy, what's up? Tangled Jack back here with another POV video. So this time I went out in a thunderstorm with the 70 to 200 F4L. Okay, you're gonna watch this and you're gonna see a huge mistake on my part. So this happened to me before and I freaking let it happen to me again. So like a year ago over the summertime. Okay, so I'm from Lancaster PA, you know, we get our little a little heat waves you know in the summertime we care a week there and we have air conditioners over here we crank them up like it's hot out let's put the air conditioner on well the thing is when you have your air conditioner jacked up your lens gets cold you know the glass gets cold the lens gets cold and then you go outside and that the heat and that humidity and the front element fogs up from the condensation because the lens is cold and the weather is hot and there's moisture in the air which is how you have your humidity so this was like a year ago. I remember it was like a 45 minute drive down to this waterfall and we had the AC cranked up because it was hot and I took my took my lens outside and all they all fogged up. And I remember it taking like 10 minutes, you know, to to adjust for the lens to adjust and the condensation disappeared. I, I knew that was a thing. And so I went out. It was it's hot and it's humid here and i saw a, a freaking massive thunderstorm rolling in I, it was so quick from the, to the time that i decided to go to the time that i left it was quick i remember taking my bag out i remember setting it outside on the front porch for like 10 minutes and i don't think it, that was what happened was my my lenses and camera were in the bag and i let them out on the front porch for like 10 minutes and i that wasn't enough to cool off because they were still in the bag i didn't let them adjust to the weather outside but then what happened was I hopped in my car to go to this quick thunderstorm in downtown. I had to have the air conditioner cranked up in my car because the windows were were fogging up from the rain. So the 10 minute drive from my house into the city with the air conditioner on didn't help. So you're going to see immediately when you start watching this POV video, I am beyond frustrated. Like I curse. I want to give up, but I keep going. I just kept wiping my lens off. If you guys, anybody who's a photographer, anybody who's in street photography, if you don't know, and I already knew this and I still messed up, but if you don't know, if you're an air conditioner, let your lenses adjust to the temperature before going out because they're going to fog up and it is going to destroy your photos. It's going to make you frustrated. It is just hell it sucks i think the, the obviously the rain and the weather i think made it worse definitely uh prolonged the condensation period before they adjusted so anyway the 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 street photography video i knew it was going to rain it was nice all day and i wanted to go out in the rain because bro when it rains it just gives so much more life to the streets water brings life I, I waited specifically for the thunderstorm for the rain it's more of rain than a thunderstorm there's really not too much thunder i don't know why i keep calling it a thunderstorm it's like a torrential downpour but if it's like raining all day street photography videos aren't really gonna be that great you gotta go out there when it's nice out and them thunder and them storms just roll in they just surprisingly show up they roll in because that's when you're gonna get people without umbrellas people running people walking and that's what i love about I love about this video and just going out in them quick showers because you get a plethora of reactions to the rain. You get the people that are just going to wait it out. They just don't care. Like, bro, like I'm off work. I don't have nowhere to go. I'm just going to stand here under this cover. You get people that just don't care. They're just going to walk in the rain, whether they're having a bad day or they just accepted it. They're just going to keep going. You got people that are prepared. They have their umbrellas. You know they checked the weather that day or or they had left their house or their job and they saw the rain um you have you have a lot of different reactions and that's what i love about these videos you see them all 
you see more. You get people that hate the rain. You get people that love the rain. So yeah, I get a lot of questions, especially with that last with my last POV. No, the second to last POV, I did it in the in the snow with this 70 to 200, and people were asking how it held up in the weather. And it, perfect, like that's this is why you spend the money and you get the red ring, you get the L lens because it has the weather sealing. Like this is why you spend the extra money. Obviously, you know you're not going to take this thing underwater, but in the rain and the snow, like it's perfect. The only thing that I would say is if you're looking to get this lens or you already have this lens and you, you're ready to go out in the weather, when you zoom zoom in and out, you'll get water down in there. And this is the one thing they talk about in all the videos about these lenses is they're, they're questioning its weather resistance because of the external zoom barrel. When I'm done in the snow or the rain or whatever I'm doing, you'll see when you, when you zoom it out, like you'll see water on here. So what I do when I come in after my shoot, I'll, I'll do this, zoom in and out, and I'll, I'll, you'll see the water stretched out on the barrel. So you just dry it off, do this a couple times, dry it off, do this, dry it off. You want to try to get that water out from in there. You don't want that sitting in there, whether you're going to get mold or mildew or just anything. So that would be, and obviously like when I'm out in these elements, I have an umbrella, like that snowy POV video, I didn't, I didn't have the umbrella. For this torrential downpour, I had the umbrella. So I'm still out there, like I'm holding the umbrella. I'm, you know, it's not directly getting wet, but you do have splashes here and there. And you get a drop or two in there and you just, when you're done, you just have to dry it out. And I also do, when I'm out in the rain, I put the lens hood on. And that's only because the lens hood, the lens hood isn't going to stop your, your front element from getting wet per se, but it helps. It helps when you have that lens hood on there you know, it protects the front element from getting raindrops on. And then you don't have to, you know, wipe it off, this and that. So you'll see in this video, I, I cut a lot of this stuff out, but there's a couple of times I stopped to wipe my lens off from the condensation. The only thing about taking the 70 to 200 out and, and having the umbrella is you have to be, like you're holding the camera and you got the umbrella. So you have to kind of zoom in and out. You know, you just have to, you have to find a way for it to work. Sometimes I just held my hand there and put the lens there and just twisted, just twisted the camera. Did one of these, like I'm holding the umbrella and I just, just, uh, you know, twisted the camera. Sometimes I would just put it at a certain focal length and just go with that for a little bit. But if I saw something down, I, I would put the umbrella on my shoulder, like kind of hold it like an old phone. Remember how we used to hold the, hold the phones like this? And I do that. Really, there's no, there's no right or wrong way to really do it. Just get it done. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy this rainy POV video. And sorry, I ain't post in a while. I ain't made new videos in a while just because I've been working like crazy. I started this new job and working 12 hour days. At one point I put like 70, what I put, 76 hours in one week. But you know, I'm trying to catch up on bills. I got an expensive, expensive hobby, obviously, loop deck. This, I got this loop deck here because I thought it was going to be perfect for editing photos. And I'm not like ecstatic. I'm not like super um, into it for Lightroom for a couple reasons. Um, maybe I'll make a video on that. But man, this thing in Premiere Pro, like it's the opposite. I got the loop deck thinking it would be perfect for Lightroom and so-so for Premiere Pro. And this thing is blazing fast in Premiere Pro, man. I put this POV together, this POV video together super fast with this. And it's not that good for Lightroom. So it's like the opposite. I was thinking about selling it until I started using it in Premiere Pro, it's perfect. Oh, and if you, you know, you probably don't study all my videos, but I got my 24 on today instead of the, I usually do my uh, monologues and the, the, the vlog and the stuff with this 14 mil, the Sigma 14 is so wide and it's 1.8. It's perfect. But I ended up, I originally got a ProMist filter, a 1.4 from Tiffin. Uh, and I got that specifically for this lens that I got coming this week. So I've been working mad overtime, bro. I got, let me just say, it's a 1.2 coming in the midst, RF 1.2. That's all I'm gonna say. But it has a 67 millimeter thread, no, 77 millimeter thread. So I got this Pro Mist, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be perfect on that. And it just so happens that it also fits my Sigma 24 millimeter 1.4. So I was like, bro, let me throw this Pro Mist on this 24 for this intro, this video intro. And I really love it. It looks so cinematic and dreamy, like there should be like a glow around me. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I'm not going to keep wasting time talking. I hope you guys enjoy this POV video in the rain from Lancaster, PA. Peace!
And my lens is fogged up from air conditioning. Fuck, man. Damn it, bro. You got caught, ain't it? Yeah, I'm gonna take it out in the the thing was I was in my air conditioner, so I came outside and the lens started fogging up. So now the joint ruined. Like all the shots, like it's already fogging up right now. What's up? I usually get 100 an hour, but I've just been doing like street photography. Yeah. Like people people on YouTube love watching, like this is on right now. So people love watching, especially out in the rain and shit. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, like that. Look, that guy out there in the rain. He's stuck. Alright.
fogged up again, bro. Man, he got stuck in the rain. No umbrella? That's it? No umbrella? And the rain's done. That was it. I missed some of it. I got probably got a couple good shots. It wasn't fast though. Just like that, the rain's done. It's gonna be a quick video. Something to put up. 